going out to Raider Nation. Um, well, another loss, man. That was not, you know, the losses wasn't surprising to me, but, I mean, it was actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. I thought we were going to get, you know, handled pretty good. Not as bad as we got handled against Philadelphia, but I thought we were going to get beat at least by double digits, but we did it. It's actually a pretty, pretty good game. 24-20, fall short. Um, where to begin? I mean, you know, it, it's hard not to get frustrated at these games. Um, I tell myself time and time again, don't get your hopes up. Um, but when you're a struggling team and you're starving for wins, you know, and, and, and it looks like you're close to victory, that you could actually pull out a victory, and you, you can't help but to get excited. Um, and it's, just a, it's a big letdown uh, when you don't. But, you know, I, I was over it by the time I went to work a few hours later. But it just, it just at that moment, it stung uh, a little bit. Um, I mean, defense played, played pretty damn good. Um, they forced two turnovers. Um, we had we had three turnovers in all, seventeen points off of those three turnovers, and with that, you would expect a victory. But when you're a struggling team, just doesn't happen. Things are just don't go your way. Um, I mean, <clears throat> we had our chances, man. Um, prior with two two costly turnovers, um, was the difference in the game. You know, in the end. Um. I mean, right off the bat, man, we get a turnover right off the bat, you know, and we're up, you know, seven zero. Uh, let's kick off. Um, hit the ball, you know, inside the five. We're up seven zero. Giants, you know, block one of our punts and take it in for a touchdown. Seven seven. You know, trade scores. They scored. We scored a field goal. They scored a touchdown. Fourteen ten. And Tracy Porter with a big pick, pick six, about a four three yard touchdown. Right, it's right before the half, a little over two minutes, I believe. And we're up 17-14, so a little momentum going to that to halftime. Um, so you know, look, look, look decent. You know, look like you know, well, maybe we can pull this victory off. You know, we don't look too bad. 17-14, we're up. Um, you know, the, the huge uh, blow was, I mean, we're up 20 to 14, man. We're up 20 to 14, and we're, we were, you know, driving. We're definitely in Janos' uh, field goal range. Um, you know, big third down, um, and you're hoping that. Um, you know, no turnovers. I actually, I actually want them to run the ball because I was thinking, you know what, it's too much of a risk, you know, and, and you know, we haven't been putting the ball in the end zone that well anyway without a few gifts. So I uh, just run the ball. That Jano put us up by nine. But, I mean, uh, Pryor tries to hit Daenerys on a slant, throws it straight to, I don't know who it was, giant defender, picks it off, almost takes it for a pick six, takes it in, inside our five-yard line. Couple plays there, they go up 21-20, you know, they put in the end zone. That proved to be the game winner, you know. They're up, and then, you know, they put a field goal, end up 24-20. We're driving, we're not, not driving, we have the ball. Um, a little over two minutes left, you know, hopefully last last drive, you know, to, to possibly win the game, but, you know, probably get sacked, fumbles the ball. Giants recover, they're able to get a first down, around the clock, and that was it, man. That was it, you know, offense looks, looks shitty as usual. You know, so many problems with offensive line. You know, it's a conservative play calling, bad offensive line. Um, you know, prior just not getting it done. I mean, you're frustrated by the conservative play calling. You know, first and goal at three, you don't, we don't get a touchdown. That's that's absolutely frustrating. Um, and you you want you know you want them to be more aggressive in play calling. And then when when the ball's in the ball's in Pryor's hands for him to prove something, you know, he does make <laughs> those two two stupid mistakes, man. Um. You know, he doesn't have a lot of time to throw, yeah, but, um, I mean, he's got to, unless he works on some mechanics in, in the off season, you know, get a decent offensive line, you know, let's not see him as a quarterback, you know, in the future. Um, in my preference, I'd rather have, you know, a solid offensive line in a pocket passer. That, that's, you know, that's what, that's what I want. Um, I mean, he's a damn great athlete, but, I mean. Just makes a lot of mistakes, man. He's, he's just you can tell he's just unsure of himself when, when you know he's when he has to pass the ball. And man. Just frustrating. But um we got uh Houston next week. Battle of two horrible teams. Anything can happen there. The bad thing for us is it's on the road, it's over there. We have not been able to win a road game this season. We are three and six. Um, it's merely like last year, guys. We were three and four last year, and then we dropped what eight of our last nine. 
Um, I believe we are a better team than last year. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Our defense, of course, is a lot better. So, I mean, um, I'm looking hopefully for a close game against, Te against the Texans and hopefully we can pull it out. Um, but we'll see, man. And that's until Houston next week. This is what I'm saying. Go Eaters and I'm out. See ya.